Okay. Welcome to the program. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to our new studio. Very, very important that you share this with the program. Thank you. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Mazamad of Tumachuku. I am from Mundiabo, the voice in Anemri. Anemri is a local government in Odeva province, Biafra Land. I am a homeland broadcast on the IPOB. Nambi Khan is our leader, and he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement, illegally detained. You are welcome to the program. Thank you. <laughs> welcome to our new studio. New environment, new studio, everything. And that is how we we'll continue to push. Thank you, Umuchineke, as we move. Share this very program very, very wide. Mazinam Gang must be freed. The way they are presenting Mazinam Bikano's issue at times, people that went to school who are also political office holders, some are not holding office, but there are politicians, some are stakeholders, some, I don't know if it is ignorance or they are still maintaining their, enslave, their sla enslavement or their slavery. Yes, they still maintain, try, they, don't, they want to be political correct. You know, for an Islamer to be political correct, you must maintain your your, what is it called? Your slave attitude. You must maintain it. And that is why we continue to ask, must they criminalize us before they present any issue? You know, they, are, they have forgotten that this is not that time that you can come up and make a statement and nobody will think about it because everybody minds their shop. This time around, it is IPOB's business to filter any statement because we have suffered on this earth. We don't give any chance. So why must people make good statements or make good moves but must always try to add it criminality to criminalize the people? And I begin to ask, is it for the government of Nigeria to welcome their request? that they cannot make any statement concerning the East without adding it criminality. I want to know. The way they present the Mazenam Kani issue, you would think as if he is a convict. You would think that Nam De Kano is seeking amnesty. You would think that Nam De Kano has been defeated. No! That is their presentation. That is their method. Mazenam Kani has been discharged and acquitted. The only man that people can be asking for amnesty on his behalf or asking for pardon is a convict, not a freed Mazenam de Khan. Right? So they must know how they present his matter. They are just going away from it. But we are always here to direct them and to also boycott any of their negativity, which we know will finally result to the suffering of our people, and IPUB will be there to suffer it by trying to also save our people from any calamity. So we, always, we are always here, we don't give chance, because when anything happens in our land, they will leave it for our people, and IPUB will come in. None of them will come in. So they are the people who is giving these armies the grant to go to any community and kill people. Then let us read. I want you to read before, so that before I go back to case of Nandikan and analyze their present. Before, before I go there, I want you to see the good presentation of this, our brother, uh, Deputy Speaker. Right? Benjamin Kano, before I will analyze his um, <laughs> is uh, the wrong statement there but let us read a very good presentation let us read just follow me while speaking in a live broadcast which sahara reporters monitored on arise news 
Benjamin mentioned that there was no justification for the continued detention of Mazen Namdekan by Namdekan by uh, sorry of Namdekan by the Nigerian government. Then let us go back to the headline. Are you getting it? A very big, a very good move. But look at the finalization. This was what we fought earlier. This was what they wanted to present earlier. They want to free Namdekan before based on criminality, so that he will now be under pardon. So that when he shake, they will say, hey, "Is it because we base it for him? Is it because uh, we give you pardon? Is it because uh, we forgive you and leave you? We don't want Namdekan to be in that state." Then let us read again the headline: Once Telugu releases Namdekan, we will report all criminals in South East to army and the police, deputy speaker, Benjamin Khan, then let us analyze. Are you getting it now? Then are you telling me that this man cannot say Tinubu should release once Tinubu releases Namde Khan that those operating with his name we will see more reason why they will do so. The, those criminals operating with his name outside the IPOB will now see what he is uh, what they are doing. But do you see how he fix it? Now, why must somebody mention the name of Namkano or IPOB mention criminality? If Nigerian media, government pay media to do so, why must people from our side? Namkano, if you mention the name of Namkano and IPOB, you must mention freedom fighters. You refer them to freedom fighters. You compare them. You don't compare us to criminals. You don't mention Namdekanu after that. You now say, okay, let us analyze. We will. Who? Who? The politicians. He will get us those people. That is to say, he said, we will report all criminals in Southeast to army. So, before somebody say we will report all criminals, does it mean they are harboring criminals? Are you understanding? So, I, I, I have separated the criminal from Namde Canada IPOB because you don't mention our name, you mention criminal. Then let us analyze the criminals that they will report, right? I will still come back to the very um, Mazen Namde issue. Let us analyze the criminal they will report. Who are the criminals? We will report all criminals in Southeast. He said all criminals in Southeast to army and police. Then, is IPOB part of the criminals? No. Then, who are you going to report? So, you know the criminals. Who are the criminals? Now, why can't you present this very criminal issue separately? Must you join it with the case of Onam Dekan? When this matter comes up as a headline now, what will somebody see it as? As if Namdekan is a criminal. So if he is being released by Buhari, you will also go report other criminal. That's what you mean. That's what the headline means. Because you, I don't see the reason why you talk about Namdekan's release, you talk about criminal. Why? Are we in a criminal activity or we are freedom fighters? So that is what I told our people that these people refuse to understand that IPOB have cleaned their face from the very blackmailing of the British by calling them rebels. We try to channel them, we try to explain to them, we try to prove it to them that your faces have been clean. Stop presenting yourselves as slaves to the Fulani. We have the microphone, we have the command to make sure that you have you you regain your you get your position in politics if you want to do politics why we continue in our agitation we created chances with our life we were killed instead of these people to have more ground in their in their positions then they come back to come and kill us we that are creating chances for us for them the killings of IPOB family members and the IPOB um, consistency without going into uh, what is it called? Into violence. Exactly. Uh, it, it automatically cleaned the faces of our fathers and also cleaned our own faces because they tag our fathers rebels. So they, their faces have been 
What is it called? They have been blackmailed. And their faces cannot be, is not presentable. And we are, we, are, we are not presentable to any government in the world because we are rebels. They get back to us as rebels. So we are children of rebels. So it was through the peaceful conduct of IPOB when the Nigerian government was killing us that warranted our faces to be clean and the faces of our fathers to be clean. But these politicians refuse to understand it. They continue to maintain their slave position. They continue to maintain it. We created chances for them to occupy their gaps, those gaps. They, they choose killing us. They choose to come and kill us. And today they are still showing themselves as slaves. But they say that this is one Nigeria. So you cannot present the issue of your people without calling criminals. That is to say, you are helping federal government to say that there are uh, criminals in our land. When we know that these are political um, insecurity, this what we are seeing is political insecurity, and these people causing it are political criminals. So now, Benjamin Kano is dancing to that very channel. Because we know that they recruited criminals. But he should not mention these criminals while he mentioned the, the, mention of, the name of Unam Kano and talk about the release of Unam Kano. Because we are not in criminal activities. When you see it on headline like this, if foreigner read it, a foreigner will see as if you see it because you join them together. That if Unam Kano is released, then then you will report all criminals. Do you understand? So all of you we are harboring criminals. You cannot report if Unamdekan is released. Why can't you say if Unamdekan is released, let us see who will commit any other thing and say it's with the name of Unamdekan. Then we will see that person as criminal. A very simple statement that you say you will go after, you will report all criminals. It is not presentable. You must Poor network, we are back. This is not from Facebook, it's a poor network. But we are back. We are back. Thank you for joining back. So now, why must they criminalize us before they demand for anything? IPOB have gotten asylum for our people. That is to say, we have cleaned our face. We are no longer rebels. But why are these people still practicing slaves in Nigeria? IPOB refused. We use our blood to free you from trembling before the government. But today, you are still trembling before the Nigerian government to demand for a razor blade to cut your neck. You cannot present your matter straight. You must find a way to condemn your people. You must find a way to praise the evil of the government against your people. You must find a way. Nobody from the East will go to the Abuja and demand for anything without finding a way to at least throw at least one, one condemnation. My network is too bad, but we'll continue. They must condemn. That is why Fulani is, and Nigerian government is always confident with them. They never presented good of our people. Imagine politicians that always condemn their people. They will cause trouble. They will heap it on your, their people. They never arrange anything here. They never fight the, 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 the criminals they are talking about. They only kept them so that they will be attaching it to Namkan because there is nothing you will say Namkan will do or IPOB do unless you recruit criminals. Who will operate in the name of IPOB and Namkan? Because they attack us terrorists without us doing anything. So they know it will not yield any fruit. So they have to recruit criminals that will operate with the name of Biafran, Namdekan, and IPOB, then, before they, they, so that they will, 
when the kidnapping had begun, so that people can be convinced somehow that IPOB is doing it. He asked them, how many people did IPOB kill when they freed Namdekan from detention? When he was granted bail? So what warranted to the attack in Namdekan of South and the attacking of IPOB terrorists? There was no ESN then. ESN was not launched in 2017. So what actually led to the prescription of IPOB? We want to know. Is it rally? Only peaceful rally within Namdekan? Was it what made our terrorists? So we want to know what actually led to the target of IPOB terrorists. That's when they knew that they missed it. So they have to recruit criminals. So you can see it. They can never talk about freedom of Africa without mentioning criminals. That's why in their House of Assembly, National Assembly, there was a time they want to use it as a reason to free Namikano. They say, let us, he should be free because of his security. He should be free. They were trying to boycott, to cut off the court victory. They want the minds of the people to go away from the court victory so that people will focus on his security. Are we advocating for his security? People, people establish his security to use it as a weapon against IPOB. And that's why they can never do anything without hanging on that thing. If they are not involved, why is it that they are not, why is it that they never inform the police? No politicians say, from the information we are getting from IPOB, Radio Biafra, about these criminals, we want the police to take action through these information. IPOB have given out, that is, correct information accurate information about operations of criminals. And that will be ESL is also fighting criminals. But Nigerian police, Nigerian army will go to the same place where criminals are. When they get them, they will say it's IPO. But I will be told you that criminals are here. I will be told you that kidnappers are operating here. But when you go there, if you see anybody, you caught anybody, you say it's the same IPOB. What kind of nonsense is that? Namdekani is a freed man. When you say free Namdekani, forget about criminality. There have been political talks, there have been criminals here already before IPOB started. Nigerian police, Nigerian army have been killing people here, torturing people here. Before I could be killed, criminals have been robbed, armed robbers, kidnappers have been here, bank robbers have been here, those that attack police have been here, even under Obasanjo. Criminal people have been attacking police. So why we say we 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 confirm that these very criminals operating with the name of IPOB, Namdekan and Biafra, we are recruited by the Nigerian government is because they can never separate them. They can never mention them. They must try to tag them with IPOB. So they recruited them. Because they knew that the Nigerian police security, all of them have been operating here before IPOB came. And they knew there was no ESM before they prescribed IPOB. So all this thing they are doing is to convince people People cannot be strong and say, based on our constitution, the appeal court are free and they can. But they continue to play their slave, to show you their slave. But they still tell us that this is one Nigeria. People telling you about one Nigeria, they can never practice one Nigeria. They can never challenge their government. They keep telling their children, one Nigeria will work. But the victory your children got, you never challenge your government and say, based on the constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria, which I am the citizen of. Obey court order. Every time, if you tell you the citizen of the Ghana, if you tell you the other all, all criminals, why must you say all criminals? Does criminal have business within them the Ghana? Can't you present criminals alone? Can't you present criminals separate? Can't you present them in the Ghana that you be separate? Why are all of you playing this kind of game? Why? You will present the good thing. You make good requests. Then you will condemn your people. Must you condemn us before you demand for the supply to cut your name? 
I thought this is a combined business, one Nigeria. All of you contribute. Why must you condemn us? Why must you bring condemnation? Why must you give the army grant to kill anybody? Who are the criminals in our land? If not your political recruited criminals, if not these artificial criminals, who are the criminals? So how can you separate them? Which means you have both criminals here, all of you. You said we, we, which means to say other politicians, the evil ones. You have both criminals using them against IPOB. Why must you say criminals on the issue of Namdek and why? If you cannot control the criminals you recruited, don't mention, don't worry. We are here. Let them the cannot be free. Forget any other thing. If it's going to the cannot is free, you will now see. That's when you ask question. Who are those people that are still doing this thing? But for you to talk about freedom of the can, and you talk about other, all criminals, if freedom of the can is released, is still able to release the can, we will, we, we, we will, we will report all criminals. So criminals, uh, it's not, it's now it's now based on criminal. You see how you condemn our land. That's why they keep sending army. This is why you say out. Who knows the one you are saying at the back? You give them guarantee that here criminals are here. So they can come in here to kill. But you never see politicians from the north say this thing. They can never open the terrorists in their land. More than seven terrorists, deadly, um, um, deadly terrorist organization operating in the north. You can never see them condemn their land. These northern people recruited terrorists just to remove Jonathan. They love it. The terrorists were destroying their land. But only protest, peaceful protest, the governors went and targeted terrorists. Peaceful protest. There was no ESM 2017. ESM was launched 2020. So what actually led to the prosecution of IPO? Not in the absence of Nandekan Nam was there. He was released. So what actually led to the prescription? There was no ESM. There was nothing, no violence, nothing. Just that they were Nigerian army was killing us. Police was killing us. We keep pushing with our protests. They, so they keep they keep killing us. We keep pushing. So they believe that the only thing to give them guarantee to kill anybody they see. With all, with them, um, at least uh, leg, they will see it as legal, is to prescribe us. Because the killings of the extrajudicial killings of IPOB family members uh, is exposing them. They have nothing to present to the world as a reason why they are killing IPOB peaceful protesters. So they have no option than to tag up stories, to, cap, to back up the mass killings they want to carry on in our land. Whether it concerns you or not, they will be killing you. Then, after all this mistake, let us say it's mistake from the politician. All of you have never taken any caution. You see, present our matter, you present criminal. You are giving the police and the army grand to, you see what they throw in our mama, they were throwing bomb. All of you are equipping them. With this kind of statement, you give the security agencies any, that is, good grand to go to any place and kill anybody. And that is why we keep saying the truth. Freeing Nam Dekano is not a convict. Freeing Nam Dekano not under amnesty. Based on the Nigerian constitution. When you free him, then based on what on the basis of our detention and the way, the option we choose, which is self-determination, you also discuss within Nam Dekano. That is how it is done. We talk about referendum, he will tell you where the how the referendum, how he wanted to be. You say no, I want it to be like this. You say okay, let us look it into it. But because there is no other way out than the referendum. No other way out than the referendum. We cannot be in this kind of Nigeria where a Northerner will flog his child. Somebody from Yoruba land will raise hand and say, Is he woman? No, he's not the father. 
people around them in the north will say, the father flogged him, a Yoruba man will raise him. He's a evil man. The evil man will flog a Nortana, flog a Nortana in his mother's house. We cannot be insulting again. It's better you come and cut off our heads. Such a Nigeria, a Yoruba man will offend the fellow Yoruba. Somebody will turn around and say, another Yoruba man, he's a, he's a evil man from Nigeria that did it. And you tell me that is a country. Nobody will say, hey, he is a Nigerian from the East. No. Nobody will say, a Nigerian from Pitobi, a, a Nigerian from the Eastern part. No. What you hear? Pitobi, Igbo man. Do you understand? If something happened to our people in the East, in the Lagos, they will say, what are the Igbo elders saying? What, what, what are you good saying? But in that place, our people are living in Lagos. There is a local government chairman. There is a state, state house for assembly representing that place. There is national house for assembly representing that place. There is a senator in charge of that place. There is a governor. But they will leave those people. They will be looking for Igbo elder in Igbo land. What did they say? Igbo leaders say. And this is a country want me to be. So there is no elder in Lagos. So it is not tribal. What did the Igbo say? They are killing themselves. What did the Igbo say? That's what you hear. Nobody will say, what is the local government chairman of Rocha be saying? What is the local um, the National Assembly um, representing Ocean be, or Igoi? What is he saying about what is happening in Igbo? No! What is our name saying? What is the family organization saying? That is stupidity of the highest order. But you have a national so the national assembly represents only Yoruba. Not that constituency. So the senator represents only Yoruba. It does not represent Igbo in Lagos. That is the highest the, to see the useless they call a country. This is the place they want us to be. What is Igbo here saying? In a country you have a house, house assembly member representing that place. You see the foundation you have. You see? So talk about freedom, can you say, let the representative from his side, do they do side in a country? Senators are senators. Rep members are rep members. It's one country. But in Nigeria, it's not so. Hey, it is our town. Oh, don't join the... Hey, it's Igbo. Igbo protest. It's Igbo. It's Igbo that do protest. It's... What? This is something somebody is betting us. And in, upon this accusation, you are not feeding well. You are from the government. You feed well from your own, also from your own sufferness. Nothing comes from the government. What we get is black men killings, black men killings, stealing of our resources. And when we give our life, because we know that this politician cannot correct it, because they have been caged with the constitution of Nigeria, right? Then what we do is to give our life. We told them. Be separate, face your politics. When time comes, you'll be doing your own. Allow us to go and die and save our people. We know that your hands are tied up. We know that your legs are tied up under Nigerian politics. Don't worry, we'll give our life. You cannot do it. And we started giving our life. These people turned around. They started killing us. We did not say, come down from your governorship. We did not say, House of Red members, step down. We did not say, anybody, step down. To the extent they turned around and prescribed us for doing nothing, for giving out our life, as our fathers and mothers gave life for the food they are eating. This on them, they don't know people died discovering the food they are eating. Somebody will not go and present the matter of his children. Let me just say, your children, without talking about criminality. There are things people will say about your children. You say, no, I got never, I got never, I got, don't go there. But in our own, these very people are the people who will go and carry crime committed by northerners. They will come and tag it on us. After tagging it on us, they will come and laugh to the government and say, eh, give me money for this of late. Must you tag us criminal before you demand for anything? Is that not, is that uh, not your own Nigeria? You must condemn your people. You must add criminal. Before you demand for one cup of garlic, but full of me will buy plane. 
without anything, without informing you. Fulani will buy mutu without informing you in your own Nigeria to buy sugar and drink curry. You will beg for one year. We are going to Abuja. Our manager will join us. Senators, we are here. Governors, join together. Let us go and get the of blade from Arosa, from Fulani in Abuja. But these people you are going to have, they have bought 10 aeroplanes. To get the rose of blade back your child here, you will, be, you will first of all go there and say, you see that my child is a criminal. The other one is about to join. The other one is also a criminal. But uh, don't worry. I will catch them and surrender them to you. These are genuine children. But because they are, the government of Nigeria, first of all, tagged them rebels. So they refused them from cleaning that face. So they cage them with it. They cannot demand for anything good in, from Nigerian government. They cannot. Anything they, you see them demanding, you think it is good. They have condemned that thing already. If you see them call for free Namdekanu, one that at the back, eh, they have tarnished Namdekanu's image, tarnished IPOB image, tarnished everything, condemn us. As they get as the open way for them to call for free Namdekanu, they must first of all condemn the Namdekanu. So, what kind of people is this? You say this thing is important, you want to free him. You want this thing. You first of all condemn him. Tell me a government that will listen to you. Tell me. A government that will come, you come to a government, you tell him, this my child is a criminal. There are other criminals at home, but I just free him, let us go. When oh no one go, oh no one go. He collected people's land. When he was alive, he collected people's land. To other people, he's evil. But to Tongo people, He's a good man. Do you know under when Uno Mango was alive? You cannot go man will not sleep sleep in this idea. If you get that style with a gun, Ono will go and say the gun belongs to him. Ono Mango. See, see Ono. Chairman Co Corporation. First chairman co corporation. And the former governor of Anambra said, See, see Ono. Ngo, can ask Ngo people. They started going to sell when Ono Mango died. He can never condemn, he will first of all say, hey, oh my can have me. This is every other way. Do you understand? But do you know this, our people? Before they demand for anything for their child, they first of all condemn the child. How can somebody give you give you that thing to give to your child? The person you condemn. You will condemn IPB. You will condemn Munam the Khan while discussing his freedom. After condemning him, they will come and tell you, Stepa, we pray. Nothing should hold Munam the Khan on them. How did you present him to the enemy? I don't like the kind of politics our people play at times. Free Munam the Khan, an innocent man, based on the Nigerian constitution, as a citizen, you, as a House of Assembly member, a full citizen, will they arrest you? For telling them to obey court order. Because you are a slave, you cannot say obey court order. But you want me to be part of the Nigeria. You want us to drop agitation. But show me that you are a citizen of Nigeria. You can never. Or Hanese have never shown me how citizens how they become citizens of Nigeria. They always beg it. They always beg it. They always dodge. They always hide. They always condemn their people to show that before because in Nigeria. To, to be righteous, you must condemn somebody from the East. You, should, you must be wicked and evil man. Even if you are evil, even if you are anybody, even if you are a job, even if you are a BPO, to become anything, to be well known in Nigeria, or to be recommended by the government, you must make evil man to cry. That is righteousness in Nigeria. Go and ask the Yoruba, they will tell you. Go and ask the North. If a Yoruba man commits any offense now, or anything that will, the government is, will be against him or her. You know? Do you know how to correct it? You must fight Igbo man. If you offend the government from Yoruba or you offend the government from the north, you can correct it anytime. Even if you still fund, do you know how to protect yourself? Support the wickedness of and you to support the government to wicked Igbo man. Always shout. If you embrace government money, condemn you, man, you will be moving free.
Just make sure you condemn a woman, condemn a baby, condemn a biafra, condemn Nandekan. Don't worry, you have eaten the money. That is righteousness in Nigeria. Make a woman to cry. Punish a woman. But our people is uh, practicing it. They love it. If you punish a woman, you'll be appointed. If you tell them how to catch a woman or how to stop IPOB, uh, you will get position. There is none of them that can get free position. They have level of demand in Nigeria, but it's just from our side because of the war. Anything they want to detain, you, do you know you are a rebel? You fought the Nigerian government. Why are you demanding for international airport? Why? They 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 like they will like to smoothly come back. The next thing the Igbo elite will go to media and say, Nigeria remains indivisible. Igbo man have never dreamed to leave Nigeria. Because you made a request, you feel like they sent you back. You went there, you come back empty handed. The first thing again is to come and promise them that we are still one Nigeria. You save a few to show your anger for denying you your rights. You will come and tell them we are still one Nigeria. Because you made a request. They told you you are young. Why do you leave IPOB that they are doing this thing? Why is it they never stop? You will come back and say, if the new bullet is in Namdekana, we will report all criminals in Southeast to army. So here is now base of criminal. All of you who recruited these criminals will coming out one by one. The same Benjamin Kano said we should drop agitation. He never said, hey, I condemn the killings of IPOB by the army. Hey, ho. Oh. He just come up. You know it's honorable. It's not agitation. Let us lobby for Lord Nigeria. You know, when the next thing they will tell you, we have finalized for Igbo presidents. And if they present this kind of stupidity to you, you ask them, but the Northerners have become president for 46 years. Why are they still crying? Any politician from the East or any idiot who came to you and said, Hi, hey, give them Igbo presidency. I give them Igbo. I don't want to talk about to, that brother to master image. That which that uh, somebody other. If I talk about them, I will destroy something. I don't want to go there. How will one Igbo? How I'm a good house wouldn't do. We will continue. So that is it. Hey, we want to Nigeria to, uh, to continue. Uh, continue. I heard you are a foolish person from Igbo man. Igbo land. People, your government have killed people. Don't you know it will go by voting? No, come, let us send you to the houses of the people you killed. There are people that we have not even, we don't know how to report to their parents how they, what happened to them. So you first of all go there and be beating them. Not to meet them and go, no. Go and raise the dead now. If you raise the one, their son or daughter or mother or child that the government of Nigeria killed under the Southeast politicians order then if you raise those ones then you come and talk us about, tell us about one Nigeria people who don't have power people who protest against taking point no signal from the politicians but all of them are senators House of Red member in Abuja they cannot make a demand and it, the, the government responds to them this is people that will be to the most. hey let us continue one Nigeria for how many years you have been in Nigeria? What do you get? Hey, they will give us, we'll get Igbo presidents. Let us play a nice game. The Northerner that played the nice game and provided 10 times leadership of Nigeria. Not, I don't count their two, two, ten, or just two, ten, I count it one. Whether you rule 10 years, I count it one. It is worried I rule two times. So I count it two times, that is 10. But they are nine in number from the North that rule Nigeria. Do they gain anything? Okay, they say they have food. Are they not hungry? Nigeria is designed for destruction. 
So if you are in any part of Nigeria, they tell you, hey, if you get presidency, yeah, yeah, the, the president is number one, Yoruba Alpha. They have president, Fulani invade Yoruba land and kill them. But they have president too. They are crying for hunger. They have president too. President does not solve problem in Nigeria. President of tribal president. There have never been a Nigerian president. So how can tribal president solve problem? When a tribal president is in power, other tribes will be kicking against. There have never been a Nigerian president since Nigeria started. Show me one Nigerian president. What they have at tribal president. If there is a president, every Nigerian will be doing, if a president um, fight a particular region in the Nigeria, other regions will respond to the government and say, why are you approaching the, the real lives in, in the eastern Nigeria? Why are you killing peaceful protesters in the eastern Nigeria? That should have been the response of Yoruba on the north. To show Nigeria, hey, why is, we are protesting in Lagos because, uh, we are protesting in the west because eastern Nigerians are protesting against the Bubadi. That's how to show what Nigeria. Hey, we are protesting in Kano because eastern Nigerians are, are protesting against a people killing citizens of Nigeria. No! Hey, they are killing Igbo. Igbo is killing Igbo. After all, it's their government that will launch a people. And that is one Nigeria. Try to go to punish you and your stupidity. One Nigeria. Idiots. Welcome to our new studio. We are still arranging some things. New studio, now you can see it. I am a one. Can't you see it? Right? So we move. Thank you. So that is it. Nobody should come and pet me to be Nigerian. Show me your game from Nigeria. You want to direct me to your God. You are wasting your time. I want to see the goodness of your God. You don't come and preach. You preach him. You are preach him. So that is it. When I know that Chimo won the Igubi Gupa and the THJ Rude. That's my own God. If you open ground and put cassava stick, it will grow. That is my own God, God of nature. Don't believe in a coin. She will look up one and nephew. Each year I have a picture of Osai, oil God that I worship. That is the God I worship. If you that is what so thank you. Yes, it is a live program. Live, yes, we are live here. So that is it. Why must they condemn us before they demand for a razor blade for us to cut our neck? Even the razor blade, they are not even they don't even know if it will be given to them. But before politicians from the east will demand, that's why the way they are disappearing, you cannot hear about Roger as your character. You can never hear about who opposed them. Uh, sorry, what is his name? Ojo Sokal. 
So many of them, that's how they are going down. If they were, uh, which if Niamh did well as an analyst, he will be speaking today. This is things they don't know. Mbazrika Mech continued to speak until he died. Are you understanding? Where is your character? Because they sold out. Government, the Nigeria have something against them. So they cannot come up. Where is what also? They have sold their people out. Your voice will die once and for all. Just die. That's why to maintain their, their evil, uh, you, nobody knows the governor and the senator. The one that, should, that is the lower position. If you are a governor, after a governor, you contest for Senate. If you are a senator, you have never been a governor. After Senate, you come and contest for governor. I don't know the one that is the, at the top. I don't know the junior. I don't even in here. Somebody can come from Senate and contest for local government chairman. I don't know the kind of confusion they have here. After governor, that's Senate. The other one, after governor, you come and, after Senate, you come and contest for governor. If they want to buy plane, they buy them once. If you want to cut our nail, and the governors will go, and the senators to go and collect the ransom from Fulani. <laughs> and not that they will go there and demand for ransom. The first thing they will do, if immediately they reach there from the gate, they will say that, do you see that my child? We will kill him today, he's a thief. The other one, the other, the, all of them say, yes. In short, every children in my community are thieves. Just that I have missed, I want to call them their nests. I want to call their, their nests and grow. But don't mind, they are thieves. Somebody wants to come and collect something for his children. He first of all call his children thieves. They are evil. They are, tell me how I will give you something to give to thieves and evil. Before you demand for freedom, you can. You will first of all condemn him. After condemning him, then you come and you come to the media. You come to the media and say, "What is? This? I don't see the reason why now the can should be in detention. Who gave them the grant? You went at the back. You condemn his genuine activities. You gave the enemies more grant to hold him. Why did you not challenge the government and say, based on your constitution? So you gave the government grant. You come back and say." If Tinubu releases Namdekano, every other criminal, what involves concerning Namdekano issue with criminals? If there are criminals you recruited, that is your business. So, does that mean that all of you are about criminals here? Because you said we. You said we. Who are the we? He said we will report all criminals in Southeast. So, all of you have criminals here. I want to know. The program, they, they are on the program now. They are on the program. So don't worry. Just share it. They are dealing with it. Thank you. Thank you. We continue. So, that is it. What we are saying is that IPOB, if you talk about us, refer us to freedom fighters. If you talk about Namdekan, refer him to freedom fighters. Don't use criminals to refer Namdekan. Don't even attach it. Don't ever. Don't ever. If you don't have anything to say, Mazaran Khan cannot be defeated. I feel we cannot be defeated. All this trading thing will be creating colon armor. Okay, when all of you gather, we are going for free now. They can under negotiation, under political so since then, nobody has given or a genuine word on media. It's only provocative condemnation. Condemnation. After condemning, you ask for free now. They can. After condemning, you ask for free. How can you condemn a clot? You condemn a plot. After condemning him, you will not say, 
Now this, this cloth now is good though. I I need it. Money will now. Have you show me? Have you ever go to the government and say, but I feel is fighting genuinely? Maybe the, there are evil ones that are doing something. Have you ever said it at the back, not to the media? No! Condemn IPOB. After condemning IPOB, they will now come to media. They will come to uh, media and tell them, No, they can't do freedom. Nothing should go to them, they can't get a good Then I just say, We say anyway again. In this guy, the same thing with Fox. When they were trying to do it from the House of Assembly, I, I came up with about three brokers. I said, no, it's not acceptable. When you talk about Namdekan, you talk about insecurity, you talk about Namdekan, you talk about criminality, you talk in the house, you say, free him, our people are dying, they, they, are, they are killing. They, what is the business of Namdekan with that? When you know that there is a court order, Nobody refused to mention the, nobody uh, uh, was ever, nobody tried to mention the court order. All they were saying, free him because of his security. Free him because, that is to say, under amnesty. That is to say, under pardon. So, okay, because of his security. We want peace to be the east, we pardon him. Then when he want to shake, they'll say, hey, it's because of the pardon. If not, I didn't. Because we pardon you, we just pardon you, we forgive you, we just pardon you, we just allow you. A free man that should speak with boldness. Do you understand? So, we are informing our people to always be careful. Madonna said, I want to hear my own. If I need to free them, they can only follow his statement in the follow here. When I come to put the bad statement out, they will be free them, they can reach. Do you understand? Make him sure you cannot fight blindly. They cannot condemn what you want to achieve before giving it to you. You need them, they can destroy them, they can fall in Nigeria. You need a destroyer IPOB. Just to free them, they can. Okay, okay, in analysis. Okay, that's why we monitor statement. That's why we monitor moves. That's why I did. No, nobody should blame us. Because here on behind Baraba, we suffer for it. We monitor moves. We monitor statement. We monitor anything. We don't read like Nigerians. We don't read like Nigerians. We don't listen like Nigerians. Who listens like a, a, a cows? We listen like Biafrans. We don't listen like Igbo. We don't listen like Ejo. We don't listen to your voice like Ibibi. We listen like Biafrans. If there are criminals in the southeast, you know, report to them now. So you will report them when Namibia is freed. Ha! Na kunu ne kwebu. Oh, they now you can. There is a time that is you will keep criminal and wait. Then Namibia tell you to release the Namibia. Then you start reporting the criminals. Oba in baru na nandi amani hane na nandi amani hane na kun. Okun. Call the criminal Benjamin Nkano. Welcome, my brother. Call the criminal now. Government is citing IPB. Call that criminal. You are pointing our land as a base of criminal. You are guaranteeing the army to go and kill. I don't know the kind of people I'm going here. Can't you neutral? No, can't you keep our land neutral? Even the Northerners that have terrorists, they never condemn their land. Every time they send our land on, set our land on a siege. All of you. You cannot talk about freedom and the canon and after that one, you can go for and talk about criminals. But you must join them together. Are we agitating on that crimin in criminal manner? Are we agitating to, to be kidnapped, uh, to become armed robbers? We are agitating to be free. 
So you cannot talk about us to talk about criminal and you stop referring us to Namdekan uh, or IPOB to criminal activities. Refer us to freedom fighting activities. Refer Namdekan to freedom fighters, leaders. Don't refer him to criminal activities that have been here before IPOB came. They have been army before IPOB came. They have been checking for before IPOB came. They have been bank robbery before IPOB came. Obasanjo buy this new, um, this um, billion vans, bulletproof, before, because of criminals under Obasanjo. Obasanjo removed um, uh, toll gates and put checking points because of criminals. So why is it this time there is no more criminal? You must talk IPOB, talk criminal. What does that mean? Was the police station built in our land because of IPOB? Was the army barracks built in our land because of IPOB? These things have been here for a purpose. So why is it now no more of them? It's now IPOB. But there are criminals that shoot down your, even the, the very billion van, of us and job run, that new one, people shoot it down when there was no IPOB. Why this rubbish? Why? Present our matter as, without, as we are. If there is anything you want to talk about, you talk about it. After, you can talk about criminal. Uh, Not you are talking about criminal. You are talking about criminal. Does it mean he, is, he has relative with these criminals? Does he have any relationship with criminals? Why must you bring it together? This is what I just, I was just, I just came across this headline. I said, no. I will address this line. And you see how Facebook pinned this program. You see how they pinned this program. Does it mean they are all involved in these things? Why do they pin the program? Simple analysis, you are pinning the program. Yes, he made a good statement. There is no reason why Nandekanu is still in detention, right? So now the headline is the key. The headline is the key. Do you understand? So what I am saying here is that why are these people who are not confident in with their Nigeria be preaching one Nigeria to us? Why is it that these people who cannot be bold enough and demand their Nigeria government to obey court order? Why is it that they are the people who will come up and tell us that we should abandon straw Biafra? People who cannot be bold enough and say government to obey court order, this is my Nigeria. No, they are the people that will come and convince people that are seen, blind people that will come and convince IPOB to believe in Nigeria. But you can never get a resolve to cut a nail, your nail, without condemning your children. But Yoruba will not go to collect anything from Abuja without presenting, by presenting his people as evil. Northerners cannot demand anything from the Nigerian government by presenting his people as evil. But before Eastern man, not that they demand for good, very nice thing, no. They don't have the legitimacy because they are rebels. They have fought Nigeria, 1967 to 70. So they have no legitimacy to demand for what a Northerner demands for. That is it. But they don't want to tell our people the truth. We do these things. And that is why they keep telling us one Nigeria. We go back and say, this is one Nigeria we are talking about. Is it not the one Nigeria the Northerners are in? Yes, it is. So why is it that they rule Nigeria for 46 years? They are still begging. They are still crying. They are still poor. They are still hungry. They are still beggars. They are still illiterate. They are still going through deadly diseases. What do you expect to get if citizens of Nigeria, which is the Northerners, the number one citizens of Nigeria are still suffering upon providing 10 presidents. What do you need? What are you preaching for me? Yoruba is still crying. They have provided presidents. Your Jonathan, he rules six years. Their people are still crying. If you give Ibo man 30 years, the policy of Nigeria is to destroy life, not presidency. Nigeria has never had a president. What they have are tribal presidents. 
It doesn't work. There is no Nigeria. What they have are tribes. Hey, Yoruba man is in power. Another is in power. How will it work? Show me one Nigerian president. Show me. It's a question. Show me one Nigerian president without sentiment. They have never been. Even Shagani who tried to do good is not. He is still not an. Because the Nathana can never present Nigeria. The Nathana will be presenting, hey, hey Nathana is in power. Are you understanding? Are you understanding? So, this thing doesn't work. The freedom will solve the problem. I don't know You know, some of our people are married. I don't know what I'm saying. I I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm what I can open again, I have the honor of and get your little release there or la. Ajo, Okua glass star. Tomorrow, Okua free. Next tomorrow, Obo no TV. Next month, oh, he will keep destroying something for you until you have your land and get Haga go on. He blew a gun, blew a rice in a year. He blew a India in a year. Take, he want to go. No, Garen and Gaha. We want to go and suffer at home. Go with your favor. That's what we say. Or they get done. I need to make me a tool. Let me put it. Thank you. Let me see some water, please. You can see our new studio now. He maintains security our brain. Security in a Right? Security measures. So we continue. As we are about to round up, Mazenam Kanu should be freed based on court order. Not on that pattern. Negotiation is involved in the struggle we are in. Even if you are fighting, you are shooting gun. There must be a middleman. These things were preached our people. We knew these things. Even if you are fighting under self determination as we are fighting, you are agitated, shouting out, creating awareness for a bit for people to see you, hear you, then come in. That's why you shouted out. Why didn't you settle, settle it inside the house? People don't. We knew these things. But the way they started presenting negotiation for us, I could have seen. Some people came to us and said, hey, I, I, you must negotiate now as if I am an idiot. So we just fight. You are just fighting. You are quarreling with your parents. And then you shouted, shouted out, and people came. I ask you, what is it? Is it not like too much? Are, are you foolish in Aranabaga? So you think IPOB have no presentation? Right? So if you come, you say, I'd like too much. Now I'd like my parents too much and all that. Again, I can't go But if you come now, so or give me this, I have a lay here, so I'm not having what we are passing through in Nigeria. Right? We have points. And we still have option presented. We said through referendum, if we fail, no problem. If we pass, no problem. You cannot hold me here while my father is crying. My grandfather cried under one Nigeria, they died. My father cried under one Nigeria, some have died, some are still alive. We are we will cry, we are still crying. We have not taken over, we are crying. Our children is coming to cry. It's in now one Nigeria. We will take your time here. Look at the weekend, one Nigeria. Look at how he is. People that are money. Tell me anybody that is benefiting the one Nigeria. Is it president? Or Bagina? They are throwing bomb around him. Tell me who is alive. Show me one person that gave Nigeria. Oh, yeah, show me one. 
Oh, okay, stolen goods. Do they move freely in abroad with the stolen money? Sorry, the stolen fund. No, in Nigeria, how far? This people does not. Nobody benefit Nigeria. Happy here and Hey, I am Dangote. I am this. Nobody benefit from Nigeria. People will enjoy life if the West go, the North go, Biafra will go. A Yoruba man will know his value. A Northerner will know his value. Eastern will know his value. We do business together. We share boundaries. You come here as a foreigner, we come. You, that is, the law of the land will protect you. But uh, under what Nigeria, I'm not saving your land because the Nigerian constitution is against Igbo man. Yoruba man in our land will not build a house because the father have told him that that place is a conquered place. A northerner cannot pay for it, cannot even come and live in a house with us. They cannot build. Even to pay a shop, they will carry everything on barrel. But they will see Igbo man at that place you are keeping your barrel. That Igbo person that put mat on the ground and the place is goose on it have paid for that place. But do you know the reason? Their father told them that this place has been marked out for destruction. They cannot come and pay shop rent with us in Ariadne. They cannot pay shop rent with us in Onichame Market. They will always be at the front of the gate, selling their earring, selling their chain, or carrying it to patrol, or put it at the outside the fence. They are free to live any time. They don't have big property. They knew here is not part of Nigeria. They are here because the army is here is to conquer here. No Northern and Yoruba person will relax here and invest. They knew that one day the market may be bombed by the army. They knew that Obete may be bombed one day by the Nigerian police or army. It is a land marked out for destruction. So they cannot mingle. That's why they will have their own place. They call it Amausa. Nigeria won't bomb in other places. They will not bomb the Amausa. That's where the Northerners will live. You buy people, they will go just go for one batch and, and leave. They say they carry their women, they carry their drugs, their Yoruba medicine. That's what they will come here. They don't contribute anything in our land. No tax, nothing, nothing. No Northerner here pays any tax or government collect anything from them. They knew here is not their land. They knew. A land mapped out for the social. That's how they told them. You see, Igbo land, Igbo people, ah, Igbo land is the problem of this country. And nobody will ask him, how? Is it Igbo man that root nine, ten times? Not an root ten times. Count it. Tafa Belewa. Go one. Mota Mohamed, Shagari, Buare, Babangeta, Abacha, Absalami, Omaru Yara Buare, Buare again. Ten. Buare came two times. Ten. But not an ice crying for hunger. Only one year of Tinubu. In Nigeria, as it's supposed to be in Nigeria now, there are, are we supposed to see a single poor man from the north? Just reason the wealth the northerners have stolen from here. Is there supposed to be a, some, a somebody that is hungry from the north? Just forget all that. Part, forget our land. Is there supposed to be a hungry man, an indigenous northern citizen that is hungry? They are supposed not to be. Do you know how many years? Not just ruling Nigeria, stolen fund. 
Today, the Nazarenes can now understand what they did to themselves. They were supporting the leader as if they are doing it for themselves. They don't know that they are lifting individuals that will make sure that they remain poor. Because if they remain rich, they will not be commanded or controlled to go and burn down Igbo property. If they are individually handling their businesses without making them an imaginary, they will be independent. They will not be there one idiot to come and say he's a man. He will tell them Igbo man is your problem. But they listen to these things because the government controls them by conditioning them to be under feudal system. So one man at the top, others are low. When they discuss one evil, they will tell one imam or one honorable, you come gather them and tell them. Because they used to eat rice in his or her house. But in our land, it doesn't happen. We have our shops. You don't control us like that to do evil. We have our businesses individually and we have problem to solve. Nigeria does not solve our problem. So we are always concentrated. We always focus. Unlike the Northern and the Yoruba land. They can, a Yoruba man or a Northern can be controlled by the politician at any given time. Because they are not independent of their own. They are being controlled by a politician. But they, to us here, they don't control us. Somebody that is going to mind his shop, you are there talking rubbish, talking your politics, or what is our business? Or is it not all those criminal and lazy ones? Go to the village, you see those lazy ones who don't even go to farm. Anytime you call for party gathering, you see them there. Why do they go there? They are looking for what will be shared, not to make their place better. No, they go there, that's what they gather there for. And this is the Nigeria you want to be managed. People who cannot gather for what they will do for you, just for what they will share. People go to see them because of what they will get, not for what they will do for you. But if they are complaining, they say, I will do this, that is a lie. No, you have a private shop. That's why in Nigeria, one idiot to come and tell you, do you know we are, we are now secretary to the federal government and say, Chileke, what are we idiot? Tell me an individual is secretary to federal government and say, well, we, we are. So your shop is now our shop. The appointment is somebody's shop. Party right. Did you uh, recommend him? That minister they appointed, is it your people that recommended him to be the minister? Somebody obtained party's rights. He became a minister. He should be Do you know that we are now minister? Now, I am our commissioner for help. So, if you start selling rod, does your people say, your village people say, hey, we have opened a shop where they sell rod? Is it not you? Does your community people claim your shop? So you go and claim governor's office. I say, now we are now governor of the state. Does such language work in a country? It doesn't work. It is only a tribal. How do I put it? In a contraption. It can only work in a contraption. Where they provide only tribal president. They never provided national president, and uh, Nigerian president. Tirubuda is a, a Yoruba term, Yoruba president. He's not Nigerian president. And still, the Yoruba is crying. The Buhari that ruled was a northern president, not a Nigerian president. But they'll be using the name of Nigeria to rule. If they say it's not northern, it's not tribal president, why do they deny Igbo man president? They say the Igbo man will go and develop his place. And the Igbo man will make Igbo to prosper. So what are they doing is tribal president. Nigeria have never provided the president. Now you understand. Now you understand. So I am rounding it up here. At least when they listen, they will know. We have talked to them. Present our matters if you want to present it. When you present us, don't present criminals. When you are presenting criminals, don't present us. We are not in the same category. When you talk about free Namdekano, forget about criminals. Talk about free Namdekano and the IPOB. 
If you cannot singularly single on the kind of out and talk about his freedom without connecting to criminality, don't say it. Go your way. Ah, you will condemn Namde Kano before you call for his freedom. I am not going to like Omar um, Wanda who we monitor all statements, we monitor all words, we monitor activities, we mon we, we, who told you we, we go and ask Lam Muhammad. He said we don't sleep. He said it. The people we are fighting with, they don't sleep. 1 a.m. they are online. 2 a.m. they are online. And, oh, 12 p.m. and 12 a.m. they are online. <laughs> Confessions from federal government. Now you are what I got. I walk. I only go there for one year for six eight years. I am a real man. I'm not a man. I'm a for six years. I'm a for six years. So from me, fearless I do be bent on this matter. I'm not too much. And from here, our homeland radio studio. Here in Biafra land, it is good afternoon. Thank you.